beta function is useful in the evaluation of lot of definite integrals so here we are going to discuss about the alternate forms of beta function we have already proved already discussed that beta m plus 1 n plus 1 is equal to m factorial into n factorial by m plus n plus 1 factorial and that will be equal to 2 into 0 to pi by 2 cos theta raised to 2n plus 1 sin theta raised to 2n plus 1 d theta now here let us take t is equal to cos square theta substitution t is equal to cos square theta so we have cos theta is equal to root t or t raised to 1 by 2 now when theta is equal to 0 cos theta will be equal to cos 0 and cos 0 is equal to 1 so the, when the limit theta is 0 your cos term if you substitute if you do substitution then then the t will be t will be 1 because t is equal to cos square theta okay when theta is equal to pi by 2 you have t is equal to cos pi by 2 so cos pi by 2 will be 0 so when theta is equal to pi by 2 your t will be equal to 0 so that means t as theta as theta varies from 0 to pi by 2 your t varies from 1 to 0 okay now let us do the substitution so before doing the substitution let us find out dt dt will be equal to the derivative of cos square theta that will be equal to 2 cos theta into derivative of cos theta is minus sin theta so minus 2 cos theta sin theta and there will be d theta term also d theta okay now we can do the substitution so beta m plus 1 into n plus 1 beta m plus 1 n plus 1 will be equal to 2 into integral from 1 to 0 now what is cos theta cos theta is equal to t raised to half so t raised to half that means t raised to 2m plus 1 by 2 okay now what is sin theta we have cos square theta plus sin square theta is equal to 1 so sin theta sin theta will be equal to 1 minus cos square theta raised to half so next term will be equal to 1 minus and cos square theta is t so it will be 1 minus t raised to half so 1 minus t into then 2 raised to n plus 1 by 2 okay into what is d theta, d theta d theta will be equal to this dt by this term value so you will have minus dt by 2 into cos theta cos theta is t raised to half sin theta sin theta is equal to 1 minus t raised to half then you have dt already in the numerator now let us rewrite this equation one simplify so this will be equal to 2 into integral from 0 to 1 t raised to 2m plus 1 by 2 now t denominator is equal to t raised to half and the numerator is equal to t raised to minus half so here you will have a minus half then 1 minus t raised to 2n plus 1 by 2 denominator is minus half and so there will be a minus half dt or minus sign on down okay now if you consider this term what will be this term this will be equal to m by 2 so um, 2m plus 1 minus 1 by 2 that is equal to 2m by 2 that is m similarly here you have 2n plus 1 minus 1 by 2 that is equal to n so this term is equivalent to now oh, we can cancel this 2 with this 2 here and 2 cancel here 
so this 2 will not be so this will be equal to minus integral from 0 to 1 t raised to m very first term then 1 minus t raised to n dt and here in the LHS you have beta m plus 1 comma n plus 1 yeah so this is our one of the alternate form beta m plus 1 into n plus 1 is equal to minus integral from 0 to 1 t raised to m 1 minus t raised to n dt now you can re rewrite this equation as beta m plus 1 n plus 1 is equal to minus n galaya integral from 0 to 1 t raised to m 1 minus t raised to n dt just limits and interchange it. so this is one of our alternate form of beta function okay now let us consider another alternate form now in order to do that i am substituting in this equation in this equation another another t is another substitution t is equal to x square so what will be dt dt will be equal to 2x dx okay so beta m plus 1 n plus 1 will be equal to integral from 0 to 1 t raised to m means x raised to 2m then 1 minus t is t so that is 1 minus x square raised to n t raised minus t raised to n then you have dt so that is 2x dx so this will be equal to integral from 0 to 1 x raised to now no good then on the rewrite you know so here you have x raised to 2m plus 1 because here then could 2m and you would have then could x and or 2 would have 2 this 2 are the one so 2 into 0 to 1 x raised to 2 n plus 1 now 1 minus x square in a term 1 minus x raised to n dx now this is another alternate form of beta function so beta the result is beta m plus 1 n plus 1 is equivalent to that will be equal to m factorial into n factorial by m plus n plus 1 factorial and that is equivalent to 2 into integral from 2 0 to 1 x raised to 2 m plus 1 1 minus x square raised to n dx so this is another alternate form okay now let us take another form now there is another form of beta function so firstly i will write down the relation and then i will prove beta m plus 1 n plus 1 is equal to integral from 0 to infinity u raised to m divided by 1 plus u raised to m plus n plus 2 du now how to prove this again we will start from our previous form so beta we know that beta m plus 1 n plus 1 is equal to integral from 0 to 1 t raised to m 1 minus t raised to n dt okay now here i am giving the substitution t is equal to t is equal to u by 1 plus u then dt will be equal to number of quotient rule apply to you know. so denominator into derivative of numerator minus numerator into derivative of denominator denominator by denominator square so this will be equal to 1 by 1 by 1 plus u square du so du would in love numerator okay so dt number devalue it now limits change you know if t in the limits from 0 to 1 and vary change t is varying from 0 to 1 then what about u so you and i'm going to t in the terms express you know 
so actually t is equal to t is equal to u by 1 plus u so then i can write down this as 1 by 1 1 by 1 by u plus 1 u gonda jan ella time in denominator numerator lum divide edu so that means 1 by t will be equal to 1 by u plus 1 or that means 1 by u is equal to 1 by t minus 1 therefore 1 by u will be equal to 1 minus t by t or u is equal to so i can write down u as t by 1 minus t u is equal to t by 1 minus t now when t is equal to 0 when t is equal to 0 that is lower limit here, t 0 umbo, u will be equal to 0 by 1 so u is equal to 0 now when t is equal to 1 when t is equal to 1 u will be equal to 1 by 1 minus 1 so 1 by 0 this will be equal to infinity so u will be infinity so u in the case le, substitution move an i t k now substitute m you put a t k substitute m d t k substitute m lower limit um, gandu, upper limit gandu. so if you rewrite this integral then this integral will take a form integral from 0 to beta m plus 1 into sorry beta m plus 1 n plus 1 is equal to integral from 0 to infinity now t raised to m in a u raised to m by 1 plus u raised to m value then into 1 minus t so that term will be 1 minus t means u by 1 plus u u raised to n and now then dt dt will be du by 1 plus u square okay so i think clear on the area you know the t substitute to 1 minus t t substitute to dt substitute to okay now let us proceed further now this can be written as integral this can be written as integral from 0 to infinity u raised to m by 1 plus u raised to m then 1 plus u minus u divided by 1 plus u raised to n n then du by 1 plus u square okay so this will be equal to integral from 0 to infinity now this term e term matra nam evaluate you come this term u this u cancel you so remaining things in numerator level u raised to m and denominator level, okay, 1 plus u raised to m then n then plus 2 and then you have a du actually term i don't prove here and either beta m plus 1 n plus 1 so let us check our equation our equation is beta m plus 1 n plus 1 is equal is equal to 0 to infinity u raised to m by 1 plus u raised to m plus n plus n plus n plus 2 by in, into du so then i'm going to prove it beta m plus n beta m plus 1 n plus 1 is 0 to infinity u raised to m by 1 plus u raised to m plus n plus 2 du okay thank you